Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So if you would like, and I highly suggest this, pause the video, try these questions yourself first, and then see if you get them right. So with number one, and guys take your time, also don't use a calculator because you need to start practicing how to do this without a calculator. All right, so the first one, we're gonna take our time. It's minus three plus two plus minus four. Step one, remove all the brackets. So we've got minus three, plus two. Now what we see here is a plus and a minus next to each other. A plus and a minus is the same as a minus. So I'm gonna change all of that for a minus. Now you simply move from left to right. So minus three plus two. So imagine you have minus three rand. I know it doesn't seem really possible but imagine you had minus three rand. So you, 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 let's just say you got so little money, it's in the negative. Then someone gives you two rand. Are you gonna now be in the positive or are you still gonna be a little bit in the negative? Well, you're getting better. Someone gave you two rand, but you're still gonna be minus one. Then someone robs you and they take away four rand. You already had minus one rand, if that was even possible. Then someone takes away four rand. So now, poor you, you have minus five rand. So I know it's very weird, but just bear with me. Think about having negative money. Okay, so the next one, and let's not rush. We take it easy. There's no rush. So we first get rid of all the brackets. So minus seven, minus eight. Then we've got a minus and a minus. Oh, in the previous one, we had a plus and a minus, and that became a minus. Now we have a minus and a minus, which is a plus. I'll explain all of that just now. So we're going to change that minus and that minus to a plus and then it's plus three. Guys, do not try and say eight plus three is 11. You wanna move from left to right. Remember with bod mass, although add is in front of subtract, those two are actually the same. So, and then these two over here are the same. So what that means is that you must do whichever one comes first. So you must go from left to right if there's only minus and plus. So let's say minus seven. So you've got minus seven rand. So just picture that. You, you got so little money that it's even in the negative. That means that you owe people money. Then you, someone takes away another eight rand. So now you owe people so much money. You owe them 15 rand. Oh, then someone comes along and they give you three rand. Okay, well, that's a little better. I owe people 15 rand, but someone now gave me three rand. So now I... So now I only owe people 12 rand. So that's negative 12. Number three, step one, get rid of all of these brackets. So a plus and a minus is a minus. So this becomes minus eight minus four. Now imagine you have minus eight. That means you owe people eight rand. And then you got another negative. Oh no, so you owe people eight rand. Then you owe them another four rand. So you owe people a total of 12 rand. Moving on to number four. So there's no brackets here, so we can start, but please never start here. Always go from left to right if you only have minus and pluses. So minus three, oh man, you owe people money. So how much do you owe? You owe three rand. Then someone comes along and they give you seven rand. So you owed people three rand. Now someone gives you seven rand. So that means you have a total of four rand. Let me explain that. So if you owe someone three rand and then somebody else gives you seven rand, you could then pay the other person back their three rand and you still get to keep four rand. Then someone gives you another four rand. Oh, jackpot. So now you have a total of eight rand. Number five, step one. I see students get, they wanna do this too quickly. Step one, guys, get rid of those brackets. So here we've got a plus and a minus again. So that's this one again. So that's just a minus and then plus three. Oh, you have, you owe people one rand. Oh no, you owe people another one rand. So, so far you owe people minus two rand. Then someone comes along and they give you three rand. So if you owe someone minus two rand, or you owe someone two rand, and then someone gives you three rand, that will mean you have one rand left over for yourself. Because when they give you the three rand, you can pay off the two rand that you owed, and then you still have one rand left over for yourself. Nice. Number six. Step one, get rid of all the brackets. 
So a plus and a minus is a minus. Ooh, you owe people seven rand. Oh, now you owe them another three rand. So that is mean. That means you now owe a total of ten rand. Then you have my. So now you owe people ten rand, and then you have to minus another one rand. So you owe people even more. So you owe eleven rand. Number seven. So let's get rid of the brackets first. A plus and a minus is a minus. A plus and a plus, that's a new one. That's going to give us a plus. You won't have to memorize all of these, by the way. I'm going to show you a nice little trick now. now. All right, so you owe people four rand. Then you owe them another one rand. So now you owe a total of five rand. Not good. So you owe people five rand, but then someone comes and gives you three rand. So that three rand's not really going to help you become positive, but at least you will only owe people two rand. Let's think about that. If you owe a total of five rand to other people, someone comes along and they give you three rand. Well, at least you can use that three rand to pay off some of the people, and then you'll only have another two rand that you still owe. Number eight. So let's say we have a plus and a minus, so that's going to be a minus. Then we have a plus and a minus, that's a minus. Okay, so you have seven rand. Then you owe someone two rand. Oh, that's fine. You still have five rand. Then you owe someone another one rand. That's okay. You still have four rand left over. Great. Number nine. So you owe, oh, let's first do the brackets, Kevin. So a plus and a minus is a minus. So you owe someone three rand. And then you owe another person two rand. So you now owe a total of five rand. That sucks. And the last one, number 10, minus 1. All right, so brackets first. So a plus and a minus is a minus. A minus and a minus is a plus. So you owe someone 1 rand. Then you owe them another 1 rand. Or an, you, it's a different person. So now you owe a total of 2 rand. Then someone comes along and they give you 4 rand. So you owe someone 2 rand. And then someone gives you 4 rand. So that means you'll have 2 rand left over. Why? Because if you owe two rand and then someone gives you four rand, well then at least you could use some of that four rand to pay off these people and then you still have two rand left over for yourself. Oh, but I do need to explain the minuses and the minuses and all of that. So a plus and a minus is, I'll explain that now, a minus and a minus, a plus and a plus, and you could also get a minus and a plus. All you do is you count the number of negatives. So here we have one negative. So is one odd or even? Well, that's an odd number, so you're going to have a minus. Here you count the number of negatives. There are two negatives. Is two an odd or an even? That's even, so it's positive. Here you count the number of negatives. There aren't any, so that's just going to be even. And then here you count the number of negatives. There's one negative. One is an odd number, and so that's a negative. Okay then. All right, guys, and that's it. Thanks for watching.